My dear beloveds, I am Mother Nature and I love you. I am the sun that shines bright upon you day after day after day to fire you up and feed your desires. If only you had the time to look up at me and soak me in. I am the breeze that comes in and out of you, allowing you to live it up. If only you had the time to really breathe. I am the water that comes gushing down the mountains, pulsating, vibrating, dancing all the way through the peaks and through the plains. If only you would take a moment to thank me. I am the earth that you walk on. I have everything that you can ever consume in abundance. I have the fruits, the flowers, the vegetation, yet you kill my own to feed your hungry desires. You attack me. You molest me, you rape me, day after day after day and leave me withering in pain only to come back again and again and again. You dig deep into me, reaching out to my beautiful minerals to make machines and missiles and bomb me. I need a break from you too, you see. I am the other that holds you together, that allows you to experience the stillness and the oneness within, in these beautiful empty spaces. If only you had the time to look inward. My dear beloveds, I'm made up of these five elements and so are you. You and I are no different. We are the same. What you go through, I go through the same. And what I go through, you do too. Life after Corona will be the same. You will still be an enslaved being of these five elements. You'll still be at the mercy of the three gunas, the three doshas. You'll still be ruled by the five kleshas, the five koshas, the nine antarayas the 114 chakras and the 72,000 nadis. The real question is, will you take charge of your own self? Will you start looking inward and getting a hold of your own energies? I am Prakriti. It is my nature to entice you and seduce you and charm you in my many ways. Your job is to focus on that which is unwavering, which is still, which is constant, which is the wiser self within you. The question is, will you? I am the play of the universe. I am Maya. I'll forever keep you going for more and more and more. The question is, will you be grounded within while you connected with your soul so you know when the more is enough? 
world after corona will be the same. You'll still have EMIs to pay, mouths to feed. The real question is, will you feed your soul? There'll be a movie made on Corona, which is a part of me. I created it for you all to learn a lesson, you see. The movie will soon be forgotten. You'll go back to your politics. You'll go back to your daily lives. There'll probably be a new way to connect with people. But the real question is, will you connect with your own self? There'll be pleads for likes and they'll be back still bending to please for those likes. The real question is, will you like your own self? If the answer to all these questions is a resounding yes, then it is time for you to look inward and yoga is a beautiful way to do the same. Yoga, the union between you and your own spirit, your own true self, your inner being, your inner true naked you. This is the best way forward. Inward is the best way forward. In this, you will experience the bliss, the joy, the stillness, the warmth, the love that you so crave for from the world outside. It all will ooze from within you. And in this, you will find all the abundance and the freedom and the peace that you so desire. If this is what you seek, then please go inward instead of going after Mother Nature, which is forever going to entice you and fool you into believing that the world outside is what is real. I hope this quarantine is a lesson for you to start looking inward, to start enjoying the peace and start making peace with your own self. And if it is, take that up seriously and walk on this beautiful path and make a life out of this living. Don't just live because you are living. If you want to see a change in the world around you, be one. Please be an asset instead of an asshole. Thank you.